Good evening and thanks for joining us. Nairman is away tonight. North Battleford RCMP have arrested three people on marijuana trafficking charges yesterday. Police say a search warrant was executed at a North Battleford residence. $10,000 in cash and over two pounds of marijuana was seized. A 26-year-old man and a 51-year-old woman from North Battleford and a 27-year-old woman from Saskatoon were arrested. Criminal charges and court appearances are pending. The investigation is ongoing. After a devastating condominium fire in Edmonton last week was found to be caused by a smoldering cigarette, officials are hoping residents know how to properly dispose of smoking materials. Fraser Snowden has more. The risk of smoking on a balcony is being questioned by fire officials. Floydminster Fire Chief Todd Gustafson says people need to be mindful when putting their cigarettes out. Is if you're going to do it, keep in mind that uh, you could be putting others at risk if you're not properly, properly uh, disposing of them. Last week's fire displaced more than 400 people from their homes. Chief Gustafson agrees with the Edmonton Fire Department that more penalties should be applied when a cigarette is found to be the cause of a fire. And unfortunately, people aren't getting the message. So if that's the course that's going to work, I guess that's the course they're going to go. Another suggestion by officials is for condo corporations to ban smoking on balconies. Liz Freezer is the owner of eight condos in Lloydminster and says she will be bringing up the idea. Probably if something did happen locally, I'm sure that we would definitely consider it. And now that it's happened in Edmonton, you know, it should be brought up during our next board meetings. Gustafson says the best bet for budding out either a glass ashtray or a tin can, uh, something that is not combustible. Fraser Snowden, Newcap News. Well, it's a bittersweet goodbye for familiar face at the Lloydminster SPCA. You may recognize Jenny Miller from the Humane Habits and Pet Project segments on Newcap Television. As Graham McCann tells us, it's not without a heavy heart that she'll be leaving behind her full-time job of taking care of some furry friends. Akila is a wonderful dog with a lot of love to give. She does have a high abundance of energy, which is essential for her to burn. Miller has been the funding and communications coordinator at the Lloydminster SPCA shelter for two years. But after next week, she'll be leaving for a new job opportunity. It's, it's definitely a privilege and, you know, I, I love, love doing it. And I love seeing all of these faces that recognize me and I recognize them. And it's, it's definitely a community feel. Jenny has always been um, a really um, fun, energetic, outgoing person. Um, definitely her enthusiasm towards the animals, um, the animals in her care, and, and really that love and dedication um, shows. Many animals that come into the SPCA have been abused and neglected, and it's the job of the shelter to restore love to an animal's life. With her compassion for animals, this is another place where Jenny excelled. Any time that you see any sort of a growth in an animal, of course, there's, you know, your heart just swells and you're so excited just to see them being happy and having an enriched life and, you know, wanting to be around people and things like that. But of course, she is not going to be leaving animals out of her life. She will be still volunteering at the SPCA whenever she can. No matter what, I will be you know, involved with animals as my life goes on, whether that means that I'm involved in humane societies or that I just you know, have pets in my home and that they enrich my life that way. Graham McCann, New Cap News.